and uh, and that's satellite. Oh, satellite. We yeah. have uh, the uh, space station. The the right? Yeah. Yeah, you can yeah, have the space there. station. Yeah. 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 These go up, right? So yeah. Well, they take care of that. Yeah. That's easy. Uh, Mommy. There's so many different things you can do. Uh, there's mobile operation in your car. I, I always got to kick ass. Uh, there's the little handhelds. There's the setting one up at home. Um, you have friends you can talk to, uh, you know, anywhere. Uh, now, so you get a license. Thank you very much for the question. And you have to get a radio. So you use guns, no problem, right? Easy. You can find use hammer radio set. You just have to know where to look. And in the medium of hundred dollars, I mean a lot less than an AR-15, I'll tell you that. <laughs> but you can get a uh, a ham radio set, a perfectly good Japanese radio, uh, Kenwood, uh, Icom, Yezu. And, and there's American, there's American ones, Ten Tank and, and uh, L Craft. You can build your own, but uh, and the typical one runs 100 watts of power, and you can run it on your car battery. Uh, it works great. And if I had an ounce of intelligence, I would have brought one down. They would have put it up in the parking lot. I had it all planned, and I just I got working today on a project, and I, I'm having a heck of a time there. It's hard for me to do, and uh, I just. Space, so I apologize. But if we'll have another meeting and, and next time. Well, I brought some stuff. We might build some stuff. Yeah, we might, but we should try. And we, I noticed I, I got on Google and I saw those two lights and I could tell from the shadow the height of the antennas and how far apart they were. I was gonna put a dipole up to 40 meters is the plan. Okay. Uh, but uh, but we can still try. Uh, in any event, there's so many different Mommy? things. To do. And there's enormous satisfaction of having your own transmitter in your own house that you can talk. And there's nets. There's oh, uh, girls are called YLs. That's young ladies. Uh, when you get married, you're an XYL. I don't understand. <laughs> <laughs> um, you heard of Morse code. Why? Why was there such a big emphasis on Morse code? I can tell. You. Um, there's noise everywhere and everywhere, you know, if you just listen really carefully, you hear all this noise. And so, here, here, you know, on telephone, when you talk on a telephone, you're using 300 to 3,000 cycles. That's, that's, that's where you talk, between 300. Below 300, well, okay, let me do a test right now. Hello, testing, one, two, three, right? Hello, testing. You can still understand what I'm saying, but you didn't know who was talking. You know what I mean? And so that deep male ho oh, ho oh, oh, ho oh, that only serves to identify who's talking. The intelligence that you need to understand are the higher frequencies up here. That's and that's the heck of it when you get older and you lose the higher frequencies, that makes it so hard to understand anything. Because those are gone or they are lower. And and uh, it's hard to hear. Well, it turns out that there's noise everywhere. But if you put a little filter in, and let's say we're only going to just let this little bit through here, right around 800 hertz, or 400, you pick any frequency you like. It gets rid of all this other confusion and noise, and this little whistle. You can hear that with an incredibly weak signal. I mean, incredibly weak signal. And so what makes Morse code so really cool is when conditions are not good, it's the weakest, that, uh, you, the weakest possible signal you can still talk on Morse code. It takes much better conditions, more power to talk on voice, more power to talk on television, and on and on. So uh, that's historically what it was for. And it's still fun. But you don't have to do it to be hammered or bigger anymore. And so if you're not interested, it doesn't matter. You don't have to do it. So, you buy a used radio. You know, I'm, 
what, what, who knows? Wayne, do you know how, how cheap are radios now? I mean, like. I don't know about the used. I guess it's just, you know. Oh, the new ones are only. In, in these the things are only 300. Oh, yeah. So. And, and the HF radios, like this one? What was those like? About five, seven hundred? Yeah, five to seven hundred. For yeah, seven hundred, you can get a new one. Well, we did the new licensee thing of opening up the catalog and thinking, well, that looks neat and that looks yeah, yeah, good. Yeah. But you can get the used stuff too, and it's just as good. <laughs> it's, a, it's a three or four hundred bucks. Or yeah. Like that. Doesn't and take it. Careful price. how you shop, eBay or you know, wherever. You know. Well, ham radios have their own. You can go to like specific ham radio sites. Right? Yeah. 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 Where they sell right. hookups. And so, so okay, so you've got a house, and maybe you have a tree outside. Okay. And so, if you don't have it, you put a stick up on the roof. Okay. And so, the easiest antenna to pull up is now. Does everyone know what coaxial cable is? Mm -hmm. that, yeah, coaxial. Cable. So, you, you uh, buy some coaxial cable and you go out the bedroom window or wherever you are and you run it up to the roof. And if we, we blow it up, you know, it looks like this. It's got a connection on the outside and it's got one down the center. And um, you run this up to the tree, and, and you put it. You put an antenna that, that looks like this. Uh, say, say we ran it over the tree, and then mm -hmm. you just have it droop down. You put an, an insulator, a uh, piece of porcelain or glass or something, mm -hmm. and then you tie this to it, it any way you can. And now you have an antenna, and you'd like to get it up as high as possible. I mean, 30 feet if you can, that would be nice. Higher is better, but 30 feet is good. And uh, you hook it up to your radio. Uh, oh, if you really want to, you know, do it, you'd have a ham radio set, and then you might have a, uh, another gadget called an antenna tuner. You know how when you drive in a car, you want to be in the right gear to go up the hill. I mean, on the freeway, we're in high gear, but we go up a steep hill, we want to put it in low gear. <coughs> and the, ha the antennas, is, as you change frequencies, the, we call it the impedance change. All right, but it's just like having a transmission in a car. So you have your radio here, and then you have a transmission, so to speak, metaphorically. And and, and it, it puts your the signal from your radio in the right gear to run your antenna. Okay, okay, that's. It. And but you don't. A lot of radios have them built in. Or if you're the least bit clever, you you pick the antenna and you make it 33 feet long on each side. You know. And then it just works. It just works. And uh, for so specific frequencies. Right. For, yeah, right. on one band. Right. Yeah. Yeah. And if you want to talk on other bands, you can still use the antenna. It doesn't work as well, but then you use the transmission. It still works.